good. As long as we got the folk. All right, Doug. Why does everyone do a joke clap? <laughs> you all do the joke clap thinking it's funny, but it's not. It is so it funny. It is so funny. I'm amused. Yeah. That's just you, Frank. It's just you. It's Why don't you get it, it bro? Why don't so you get fun. it? You just don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, man. You, you know just what? Don't Jeff get it. This is my podcast. I own most of this stuff. All right. Mm-hmm. Actually, I think everything we use for the podcast, I own. Doesn't he own one of the microphones? Yeah, he owns the vlog camera. Half of it, technically. Yep. Listen, if we yep. upset Frank, we have nowhere to go. <laughs> I got places to go. <laughs> Or can you get out of my house? That's the question. I got a knife. <laughs> Places to do things. That to is see. fair. I forgot that Dunkerton is is the guy who will probably always have a weapon on him, no matter what. I this just, is very true. I just found this more recently. <laughs> he's not allowed to touch fire. Straight up, he's like, "Well, I gotta sell my guns and some knives," and I'm like, "What the heck?" I mean, yeah, I live to... in Florida. You're allowed to own guns. So, yeah. fun, so fun fact for our, our white elephant Chris Mix exchange. Yep. In the box he had was a replica of the one ring from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Forgot what the th- thir- second thing was, like, but the third uh, thing was a giant, giant, like, yeah. knife that was just, like, very overly... Ornate and, like, yeah. yeah. It was amazing. Everyone wanted that gift oh, no, for I wa- the knife. I spe- mm-hmm. No, I was the okay, only one who yeah. wanted it for the ring. A couple people, uh, mostly Frank, wanted it for the ring, but that knife was Amazing. Mm. I don't know why you're looking at the camera. This is we haven't. And then the year before that, I gave away the dinosaur. I've never done this before. You look at us. Look at you. (laughs) You already got better at it, kid. I don't. I don't look at that camera Um, in the slightest. But basically, basically, yeah. So me and another guy teamed up, and he stole it from me to secure the steal. And then I was like, "Give me the ring." Oh, that was blonde Brandon, wasn't it? Yes, that was blonde Brandon. Brandon Kitchens. I remember. I thought Leah ended up with it. No, it was me. No, no. Leah wound up with the dino sword, which was like a year before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh man, such weird things. Welcome everybody (laughs) to the podcast. I, as always, am Frank Joseph. We will go this way. I am Zachary Richard Dunkerton. I'm Tyler Spence, man. And know. introducing for the first time on the podcast, but not the first time of a watcher. Are you Jeffrey gonna... Todd Bassett. Je- oh, he mm-hmm. said Todd. He said the middle. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Evan's the only man. one to not say it. And Dalton, technically, but... Has, yeah. his, has his middle name come out on the podcast at all, or is it just... I mean, I could say it right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Lane. Ooh. Lane? Yeah. He's been exposed. Because Hannah's is Jane, and his is Lane. I'm not even mm-hmm. kidding. Yep. And then uh, Dalton's is Nash. That is something that I did mm-hmm. not know. And Brandon's is Todd. Really? Yeah. Never got to his dad. Twinsies. <laughs> That's funny because my my entire name is exactly my dad. Mm. The only thing that changes is this. Keep I'm talking. I just realized I need a... Oh, actually, Tyler, uh, there's some note paper. Or there's a note card back there. Do you give me that and a writing utensil without without killing yourself? Almost. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Tyler just not about. killing himself on the podcast. There you go. You got it. Just, just one note card and a writing acclimate. So. Can't promise it's only one. So, so <laughs> not, you're right. <laughs> and then, all right, so gentlemen. Yes. So we've established on the podcast. Tyler has never seen movie. Uh, he's only seen like four movies recently. Ever he has seen in a my fifth entire movie. life. Yeah, I watched yeah. my fifth movie, like <laughs> Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So, yeah. what better time to have a trivia movie challenge than now? Oh dear. <laughs> well. So, um, so first of all, mm. technically, since you two are neither roommates, though. It is possible for you to, uh, technically, through the uh, parallel universe clause that is in Chore Wars, neither team can really compete for the Golden Duck, and I feel bad about that. We have so many cool people who can't compete for that. Mm. So instead, I found this mic that looks exactly like the Golden Duck. This is what we will call the Podcast Trivia Winner Award. We'll come up with a fancy title at some point. The Golden Mic? I don't know. We'll figure it out. GM... That actually, that, that, I like GM personally. Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh uh, yes, I really want to be the general manager. <laughs> <laughs> and you die. Yes, just like, or you could be the DM and you can direct message me. Yeah. <laughs> so I need all of you I to see. pick. When you do uh, that, when you when you do that, you just bring in the whole context of sliding into someone's DM, like just way out of context. I need all of you to pick a button. Green, pink. You, you might not want blue. That one's not not that loud. Oh yeah. Go ahead and do yours. Do I want to know? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty the, decent. Oranges. Which wow, we is... will not be using because I am not competing in this tournament. <laughs> oh, yeah, May I'm, the best man win. Yeah, movie yes. trivia. I've yeah. seen like five movies. So so don't don't worry, go. Tyler. This is technically not the movies. 
So, so oh. Amazon reviews are a thing, correct? Sure. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I have selected um, a host. You know, man, if we're just going to hit the mics. <laughs> I'm folding mine. Thank you very much. Yeah, but he's new, so it's okay. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I have selected a host of Amazon reviews for specific movies. Here's how this will work out. I will state the review. And then whoever buzzes in first, if they get it correctly, gets two points. If no one buzzes in, then I can give a clue as to what the movie is. Afterwards, it is then one point. Obviously, if you are the first to buzz in in the middle of a statement, uh, I do not finish the statement. You give me your answer, and then you're out for the round, and then the other two are welcome to listen to the full statement. All right, is that so understood? If everyone gets I think it wrong. Understood. So yeah, if everyone gets it wrong, clue. no one gets the point. That's how that works. Uh, we will do a test run. You can't hover hand though, right? I don't care. <laughs> Set my hand on the button. All right, so I'm just test run. Right here. This one. Ahem. This is a one star from from a guy named Joe. All right. Too many monsters. Too many monsters. That's it. Yeah, that's the that's the review. Too many monsters. What? If you have an idea of what the movie is, buzz in. Amazon review, right? Yes. So it's a movie that's like on DVD. And Correct. Three. Correct. Too many monsters? Yeah, this is the huh. test round, guys. Come on, this is the easiest one. <laughs> well, is one it? of the easier ones. Three. Five, four, three. All right, it is a Pixar movie. Yes, sir. Monsters and Inc. There you go. You would get one mm. point for that, Jeffrey. All right, is that understood? Right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, all right. When we get to the tougher ones, I will... Um, I will properly... I'll give maybe like two clues and three points. We'll figure it out. Uh, all right. On the fly. All right, Jeffrey. You would get the first point. However, that was the practice point. Let's get the right. only point I'm going to get. Only point. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I'm going to lose. I'm going to give you a little bit more context. It's a one-star review by a guy named Sim1398 on February 19th, 2016. It is so obvious that the ship would sink. Go ahead, sir. Titanic? Correct. That's two points for Jeffrey. Yes. Yes. The title of the review is predictable. Fun fact, that's one of the five movies I have seen. A you saw Titanic? Pretty good movie. Yeah. Come on, I, I was in a relationship for like four and a half years. You think I, we wouldn't watch Titanic at some point? <laughs> Soon we'll be Jack and Rose. Yeah. Well, oh, know, wow. We won't, we won't get into that context. That's fine. All right. So you're going to die. <laughs> So you're going to freeze to death in the ocean. Paint. It's more about painting news. All right. But, you know. I cannot give away the title of this one. Okay. Uh, it's going to be very obvious. Now, this is where the sequel clause comes into effect. You cannot just simply name the franchise. You must name the specific movie. All right, here we go. Oh, great. This, was the, this movie was the worst by far. This is by Andrew. Uh, one star. Uh, there was only one lightsaber fight, and they didn't even do any spins and stuff. This movie was the worst by far. There was only one lightsaber fight, and they didn't even do any spins and stuff. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. New Hope. That is correct. Boom. Oh, the nineteen ninety seven. Technically, the exact. Uh, it's just Star Wars, but I will give it to you for New Hope. Yay! I am not a monster. Thank you. Yes. Uh, the the name of the review is "The Phantom Menace Was Better." <laughs> <laughs> That's. Uh, all right. Not wrong. Ahem, here we go. <laughs> That's objective. Uh, this yeah. this is technically a clue, but I don't care at this point. Ahem. Uh, this is the title. One star by a guy named Walter the Third. Um, the title is I Hate Musicals. It is a musical. I didn't know that. I watched about seven minutes. They were walking around, snapping their fingers. I was like, oh no, this is a musical. I don't watch musicals. This is, it's a musical. I didn't know that. I watched it about seven minutes. They were walking around. Go ahead, sir. Grease? Ooh, no, that is incorrect. That is unfortunately incorrect. All right. Uh, snapping. I said you said snapping they fingers. They went around and snapping that's... their fingers, and I was like, oh, no, this is a musical. In, like, the first seven minutes? All right. Clue? Mm -hmm. You want a clue? The clue is that it is the exact same story as Romeo and Juliet. Oh. You got it now? <laughs> All right. Come on, guys. Because right. right. musicals Five, don't count as movies. Four, I have seen a few musicals. Three, two, one. Tyler? Do you know what it is? Uh, wow, I knew it, and then I lost it. West Side Story. Yeah, yeah. West Side mm. Story. No points still rewarded, unfortunately. <laughs> Haven't Never watched one. it. <laughs> Same boat. I'm yeah. pretty sure you have seen this one. Dark and Disturbing, one star by a person named Joan. I watched this, this to review for my granddaughter, age eight. It started out hopeful that it was going to be good. Then it kept getting darker, and then nude, in quotations, animals entered into the movie. It started out hopeful that it was going to be good, and then it got darker and nude animals. 
Yes, sir. Zootopia. There we go. Oh, that's what I was going to get. <laughs> that's also one of the five movies I've seen. So Titanic, I, Zootopia. I don't think of that Tyler, film if as If you're not dark. careful, people are, uh, are going to be able to count the amount of it's, movies uh, you've seen. Zootopia, <laughs> Titanic, Where Guardians of the Galaxy, one. the original one. <laughs> uh, and I, I mean... Tyler, they're going to get the... I've seen it. They're going to realize that the joke... I'm going to call you out hard, man. Yeah, I know. Mm. Yeah, Jeff, you're going to call me out hard in the comments. I can't wait. All right, guys. This is the first two-star review. Oh. I yeah. find it hard to believe after visiting many zoos and watching Nat Geo Wild that these animals could perform martial arts. Totally unbelievable storyline. Kung Fu Panda. That is correct, Zach. Oh, that mm. is correct. Awesome. Man, Tyler, in this movie trivia quiz, you're not doing Dude, too hot. Who would have thought? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a celebratory event once I finally get one. Mm. If All I right. ever get one. Sticking on the topic of animals. There's oh. your clue. Free clue for y'all. Great. One star review by a guy named Jeff. Penguins shouldn't talk. Ooh, Jeffrey? Um, oh, crap. I Mad know it. Penguins in Madagascar. That is incorrect. Tyler. Happy feet. That is correct. Dang it. <laughs> hey, you got one. I got one, guys. I did it. Yeah. Oh, that was so close, though. Penguins of Madagascar is, a, is it, the first five minutes are hilarious, and then I only recommend watching a compilation of all the squid names, or hmm. the octopus names, because they're they're puns on celebrities. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty funny. It's actually Never watched funny. it. It's, it's okay, <laughs> except for those two parts. I watched, like, the second Madagascar movie, and that was it. All right. This is by a person named Cassandra, another one star. If you're going to see this movie because, like me, you love chocolate and wanted to learn more about the process, prepare to go elsewhere. Ooh, that was... I'm going to say that goes to Tyler. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. That is incorrect. Let me finish. Wow. This movie has no chocolate to offer. No milk chocolate, dark chocolate, nothing about the um, abuses in the chocolate industry, and not even in hot chocolate on a cold evening. I wish I were one of the dead characters in this movie, as I would have felt more than I did watching this one star. There's dead no, characters. There's no chocolate in this movie. I wish I was one of the dead characters in this movie, as I would have felt more than I did watching this. Would you like? Would you like a clue? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay. Got to think of. Um. Uh, it's it's a 2017 movie, and I believe it won Best Animated Picture. Animated. Oh, I'm definitely out of the running on this one. <laughs> oh, crap. Does not help. No. Um, yeah, you named any movie before, like, or after, like, 2017. <laughs> All right, for half a point, it's a Pixar movie. Uh, Pixar movie four, came out in 2017. Three, two, it's not one. in there. Coco. Oh. <laughs> I never yeah. saw Coco. Didn't see so Coco in theaters. It was a great movie. So that that's where the dead really characters. Dead characters. Dead characters. Yes, yes, yes it's about the Day of the Dead, yeah. That's true. All right, um, two stars. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm ready. Uh, we like to keep it family friendly on podcast, so uh, skip this one if you have kids. I didn't like the way they, the characters are so sexualized. When the Snow Queen character decides to be true to who she is, a snow monster. Mm, frozen. That is correct. Yeah. She converts into an overly sexualized cartoon woman with too much makeup. Is that what happened? Is that, I don't remember the Still movie two like stars, that. though. Still two stars. I, still, I don't remember the movie. I like got the wrong version of Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. All, All right. right. So currently. Parodies aren't worth it. Currently, almost. Zachary Dunkerton is at six. Tyler is at two. And Jeffrey Bassett is at four. Mm. All right. All right. Let me see. Oh, yeah, we're about halfway. We're about halfway. So good. Mm-hmm. We're making good progress, guys. I'm proud of you. Good job. Continue up the good work. I, yeah, I feel really proud of me, too. <laughs> One star rev- review. Not safe for six-year-olds. Took my six and eight-year-old to see this. They were crying and scared all night. Now they think Iron Man is going to stab them with a sword when they are sleeping. Iron Man. And what movie does now Iron they Man think stab someone Iron with a Man sword? is going to stab them with a sword when they are sleeping. I feel like that's like one of the bad Iron Man movies. Mm. But at the same time, have a blade. Right, f- clue in three, two, one. All right, it is. It is technically a Marvel movie. Oh, oh. technically, I like that. Like the Iron Man and Sword don't go together in the only. Technically, right, a half a point movie. in a in a few seconds. Okay, half a point. It's a Marvel movie that's not a part of the MCU. Yes, sir. Wolverine. Ooh, that's incorrect. Yeah, nothing. Five, four, 
three, no. two. It's Deadpool. Oh. Oh, because he's red. Because he's... Yep. Mm. Took my six and eight-year-old to see the superhero movie and oh, <laughs> it ended up stabbing a bunch of people. All I could think about was Blade for a second there. I was like, how does Blade relate to Iron Man? I was thinking Wolverine with Silver Samurai. That's the only like, the Wolverine, iron yes. person, like metal yeah, with yeah, a sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, that is. Yeah, that would make sense because he did, like that's the one where they start to get a little too much. And then mm. Logan's where they're like, now nah, we'll go full out. Yeah. Mm. But no, that is incorrect. It was Deadpool. I haven't seen any of the movies. Taking we just kids talked to about. see no, Deadpool. I, I saw original Deadpool. Cool. That's, my fifth, yeah, that's my fifth now. movie or fourth movie. <laughs> we'll talk about the fifth one. <laughs> it was Into the Spider-Verse. What are you talking about? No. What? No, we already said Into the Spider-Verse. I don't remember. We've, I'm pretty sure we said more than... No, I've said four point. movies so far that I have yeah, seen. Yeah, this podcast I'm talking about overall. Yeah, I've said four movies that I've ever seen. <laughs> All right. Don't try to quote my logic here. Right? Right. We don't talk about the fifth movie. All right, here we go, guys. I'll give you a hint pre. Oh, boy. I'll give you a pre right. hint. Considering. Uh, this is a, a animated movie. Okay. One well, star, not as advertised. Right. I thought this was a documentary about Italian cooking in Seattle, and boy, was I disappointed. <laughs> Tyler? Ratatouille. Incorrect. And boy, was I disappointed when a cartoon showed up at my door. Okay, I thought this was a documentary about Italian cooking in Seattle. And boy, was I disappointed when a cartoon showed up at my door. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Um, weather is a major part of this movie. This Cloudy one. with a chance of meatballs. There you go. Mm. Yep. <clears throat> Never saw it. It's okay. It was all right. Pretty, it was, it wasn't okay. great. The book was better. Yeah. The book was better. The book. There's a book. There was a book. Okay. I don't believe that is a correct statement. <laughs> all right. Because none of you apparently understand uh, when movie, what year movies came out. I'm going to say this movie came out in 1984. All right. It helps gauge you a little bit. You know, it's in the 80s. All right. Sure. Two stars by yeah. MJ. What did I expect? I remember watching this in the theater. I didn't remember all the, quote, spirit issues that they dealt, they deal with. Not what I need in this home. Spirit issue. One person out of 37. I found that like, helpful. I want to throw. An 80s movie. I didn't remember all the spirit issues they had to deal with. Not what I need in this home. See, like, there's so many titles I want to say that I feel like are more recent than mm-hmm. the 80s. Mm-hmm. See, I want, see, I'm, I'm tempted to say one of the actors in it, but that's going to give it away. Okay, clue. To me. There are four really famous actors in this a lot of people from snl in the 80s mm-hmm. the spirit issues yeah yeah not ringing any bells for me all right nope. bill murray dan Aykroyd, ghostbusters yeah which one mm. well all right let's see no, i didn't know i didn't realize there were multiple I was that is so correct just- Half a point, Tyler. Thanks. You got a half a point. Two and a yeah. half points. Two and a half points. Look at this guy. Man. Yeah, I just found that funny. Mm. <laughs> no spirit issues. Not in this at all. <laughs> Sounds like something I've my watched. mom would say. All right. I don't think I've watched a lot of 80s movies, actually. All right. So uh, I'm going to need I should know that because I've been playing Rocket League and they're doing the whole 80s summer right now. And yeah. literally, like, mm-hmm. the first, like, the couple ghost, weeks was, one. like, the ectoplasm and they the did the literally one, yeah. the Ghostbusters game mode. And I was like, all right, guys. All right. all right, guys. We're getting into the heavier ones. So, uh, yeah. right, so right, right, right. Here's how this is going to work. Gone I'm really going to well so give you up to two clues for your first, before any clues, three points. Okay. First clue and second clue That's right. Catch up, guys. That's right. Catch up to both. Here we go. One star. That is the name of the title and how much they gave this review. By Joe. There were no wolves in this movie. No wolves in this movie. There were no wolves in this movie. If you at home understand it, please leave a comment below. Yes, sir. (laughs) This is going to sound stupid. Wolverine. That is incorrect. No. He, the Wolverine is not a wolf. <laughs> I was hoping that they All were right. just... All right. Wait, we there are no know. wolves in this? Hold on. There... <laughs> wolf on Wall Street? That is correct. Oh. Three points for Tyler. <laughs> hey. Wow. I want to say that because I figured Frank would have been like, skip the kids on this one too. Uh, no. Nope. Well, that would have been one of the clues is mm-hmm. uh, rated R. <laughs> Rated R, Scar- I don't think Scorsese I watched movie. The Wolf of Wall Street. I didn't it's watch it. It's super just, long. I just know of it. It's a really long movie. It's a great movie. All right. Another one star review. A 1980s movie. It's hard to believe that in a hotel that size in Colorado, um, 
uh, would close in the winter with all that skiing business. It's hard to believe that a hotel that size in Colorado would close in the winter. Yes. Shining. That is correct. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. All right, so Zachary has a commanding lead at 10 points. Yeah. Tyler's at five and a half, and Jeff is at four. You guys wow. guessed it. That, that, was was a, <laughs> that was the fifth movie. I have seen the show. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if you have seen this movie, because mm. this would be interesting. <clears throat> One star. There was absolutely no magic in this movie at all. Huge letdown. Oh. <laughs> magic Mike. That is not. Nice. Uh, <laughs> oh. uh, I was so good. I was so ready to just like, yeah. Of course there's no magic in it. That is correct. Frank, you said these were supposed to be more difficult. <laughs> <laughs> I might have miscalculated. <laughs> all right. You're sitting there. It's Guys. supposed to be more difficult. You're losing. Yeah. Hey, first of all. <laughs> I was losing some You're only beating him by one like and a half few points, seconds Jeff. ago. Yeah. You're only beating him by one Excuse and a half you. points. All right, here we go. This is our first five-star review, ladies and gentlemen. Oh I know. God. I know. Highly rated by a person named Kimberly. I've known a Kimberly. Um, here we go. <clears throat> Nicholas Cage is a good actor in this movie. You actually almost don't doesn't recognize him with his glasses on. Oh. You actually almost doesn't recognize. This is what it says. It's not my fault. Actually, almost doesn't recognize him with his glasses. I want to say the obvious answer, but... <laughs> Wicker Man? That is incorrect, Tyler. <laughs> All right. I got an idea, but I don't know if he had glasses in the movie or not. Clue. Clue number one. Sure. There is a sequel to this movie. Oh, oh come on. then. It stars Nicolas Cage. He is the reason you go to see this movie. I think there is a sequel. Come, come on. Uh, now I know because <laughs> I just I can't remember the unfortunately name of the movie. I have seen this movie I got probably no it's, I, I know what, I'm right. pretty sure I know what movie it is I just can't remember the name really that's yeah. unfortunate you really can't you, All right, one but you point. remember the premise right yeah yeah one point alright please go ahead the declaration of independence no that is what they're trying to steal that though. is what they're trying to steal do you know what uh, you know? national treasure there yeah, you go one point is younger yeah. 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 I kept going back to lost treasure I'm like doesn't see, make see I didn't sense. think you were going to do the obvious one so that's why I went with Wicker Man <laughs> all I could think of was like good Nicolas Cage film Lord of War really no. <laughs> see because every time I think of Nicolas Cage unfortunately the only thing I think of not oh, the bees not the bees not the bees <laughs> And then I watched a video analyzing the original film that looks way more interesting. <laughs> the original film is actually a really interesting uh, story, honestly. If you if you get the chance, you should watch it. Anyway. He punch, <laughs> Nicolas Cage punches a woman in a, in a bigger costume. costume. <laughs> yeah, the original movie is creepy. All right, another five-star review, guys. Here we go. By Marco. I don't know if I'll ever trust a woman again. I don't know if I'll ever trust a woman again. Yes, sir. Gone Girl. That is correct. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> Haven't seen it. It's really good. I didn't either, but I it's know about really it. It's really good. <laughs> like, I can't tell you anything about the movie. You just got to watch it. It's really good. You just got to see it to believe it. It's real good. <laughs> Have you seen it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. This is the final three. Where everything's made up and the points don't matter. That's right. The points in this case are worth five. <laughs> Because we, because otherwise, don't continue. You're like far and away. You're you're winning by fourteen. You have fourteen. He has, Tyler has five and a half, and then Jeff has seven. Okay. So, five points each, at my discretion. Each clue is a negative point. Another five stars. It's a chick flick. Bought this movie so my wife can complete her collection of the movies and books, but it wasn't that bad of a movie. Yes, I said it was good, and no, I'm not a girl for saying it. It's called Being in Touch with Your Emotions and Self Pride and Integrity. Did we complete the collection? Fifty Shades of Grey? Incorrect. I. Jeffrey? Uh, Twilight. Which one? Oh! No, all the. mm. That's right, you have to say which one. Five. No. And the no. subtitle is called? No. I don't know. I don't know any of those movies. Zach, uh, can you say the uh, subtitle? The subtitle? I'll, you know, no. I'll give it to uh, can anyone. I, can I name the whole saga off, off the top of my head? Zach it's, uh, cannot it, name the subtitle. It's, uh... Oh, I, can I get that? Oh. Fi- I, can't, I can't remember exactly what the final one is. I, I, I don't think. think that this is it. It's like, isn't it like New Moon? That is correct. <laughs> that's the second one, I think. I was just saying Moon. No, well, it, that's what it says, though. Sorry. Yeah, New Moon's the second one. I think Breaking Dawn is the fourth one tyler i'm gonna give I you five remember, points for about. under for remembering those because you're in touch with your feelings uh, i read all four wrong. of those books so <laughs> you read them yeah in like middle school did you like them yeah <laughs> they're okay <clears throat> i also got made fun of for reading them so yeah just like this dude <laughs> all right here we go two stars 
Typical storyline, not disappointed. The movie did remind me of the Muppet Babies. The characters all knew each other before they even started the journey through the universe. Typical storyline, not disappointed. The movie did remind me of the Muppet Babies. The characters all knew each other before they even started their journey through the universe. Anyone like a clue? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a more recent movie. And the title of this review is Mini Star Trek. Mini Star Mini Trek? Star Trek. That is the title of this review. Oh. They were not disappointed with the storyline, but they were upset with the fact that all the characters knew each other before the story began. Mini Star Trek. Okay, next clue. It is a sequel. So it's so it's a newer movie. Star Trek sequel. Fourth. I think I think I know. Go ahead. But like you're gonna I'm have not... to get the ring in. You got a buzz in. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Star Trek into darkness. There you go. Uh, I did say three clues, so you will get several points. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the one after Into Darkness. No, uh, I don't. I didn't. You said watch. Mini Star Trek. Yeah, no, that's the name of the review. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, the review says Mini Star Trek. Huh. I don't mm-hmm. know. I'm not the one. What who is made the review. third new Star Trek called? Uh, the newest one. I forgot. I think it's, it's the like a one, one word. I forgot. Eat yourself is in it. Yeah, that's about is. the most I remember. All right, for all the marbles, ladies and gentlemen, an astounding enough points to win, whatever that is. It's just bad science. One star by a guy named Cody. Allow me to be the first to say that none of this movie is scientifically accurate. The first clue is it's a Disney movie, technically. It's or it's a movie owned by Disney. Owned by Disney. Yeah. I mean, allow me to be the first to say that none of this movie is scientifically accurate. That could be anything. It's a, <laughs> it's it's a, a, a newer movie in the past five years. Five years. Disney. A lot of movies. Scientifically accurate. Okay, I'm going to narrow it down some more. It's Pixar. Not scientifically accurate. Pixar movie. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> All right, all right. Anyone else? No? Okay. There are technically five main characters and one main character. I don't know the name of it, but I know the name of it. Yes, sir. Um, oh, crap. Inside Out. That is correct. Mm-hmm. Really? That is correct. I, I want to say Joy. Was... I want to say Riley. I'm like, these are just character names. I just couldn't remember what the movie was called because I didn't see it in theaters. So, Jeff, uh, you magically got nine points that... that... <laughs> So mm. you are now tied with Zachary Dunkerton. Hey. Wow. Tyler, I'm sorry. You are out of the podcast games. You cannot get the GM. All right. So when I do one of these and I'm doing video games, yeah, I'm making sure they're as difficult as possible. Mm. Do not worry. That's fair, win. but just know if you're the one doing it, you can't compete. I know. Okay. Just, well, just I don't want to compete. Me. I just want to flex my video game knowledge <laughs> through posing questions about video games. Mm. I'm up for that. I like gaming. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Can you vamp while I find your tiebreaker question? Fam. So I'm out. You are out. Unfortunately. <laughs> well, unfortunately. Is, yeah. Sorry about it. It was kind of predictable. You don't watch movies. Yeah. No. Mm-hmm. We the went fact that I even got some you of them right. Yeah. You knew some answers though that we just didn't. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the musical Saga stuff. Yeah. What was the musical? What was the answer to the musical? Uh, what was it? West Side Story. West Side Story. Story. Yeah, yeah, I've never yeah. seen it. I've seen yeah. it. Heard about it, but mm-hmm. never seen also, it. Also, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Also, if I'm correct, I literally played in the, the, the music pit for that musical in high school. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I literally did. First one of you to buzz in with the correct answer wins. Pink button. I've been retired. A one star. I would recommend this movie for you, for you Rocky fans, but make sure you... And then here it goes. After watching Shrek before this movie, I was not. It was not even comparable. I would rec this movie. Recommend this movie to Rocky fans, but make sure you watch this before you watch Shrek. <laughs> After watching the Shrek movie, Dude, it was what? not even comparable. If you are a fan of the Rocky movies, there's your hint. Watch it before Shrek. This guy apparently loves Shrek a lot. Hey man, I get it. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. I understand. Mm, all right, <laughs> it is a movie in the Rocky franchise. It came out in 2015. 
Creed? That is correct. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the first podcast trivia challenge, Golden Mike, Zachary Dunkerton, there you are. You do not get to keep that. Like, okay, give it back. <laughs> nah, not yet. All right, you don't get to keep it. We actually, uh, we might put like your name on it and just be, and you get to flaunt it. However, the next time we have it, you must be here to represent. Is that understood? Yeah, sure thing. Sure thing. <laughs> All right, now you get a hold on for, for a little bit. Mm. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, just, I wanted to be weird, this one, and I appreciate it. So we're going to do more of this kind of things because I enjoy it. Jeff's a little upset. I'm not upset. It's, I haven't seen a single Rocky movie, so it was kind of in Zach's favor, but that's all right. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know that. It's okay. It's okay. He you won know, a fan square. That is true. He did mm-hmm. win it. Uh, so, I'd like to thank my mom. Yes, would you like to do uh, any any uh, speeches or plugs? I'd like to thank my dad for allowing me to watch basically whatever I wanted throughout my entire life. Um, I'd like to thank Frank, Tyler, and Jeffrey for being here. I'd like to thank Jesus. <laughs> Praise Jesus. All right, all right. Um, so that was Zachary Dunkerton. Tyler, would you like to say anything? That's what I thought. All right, Jeffrey. <laughs> It was raked from the start. <laughs> yes, a little Sorry, bit. Kid. A little bit. See, I felt like if Evan was here, it'd be a little bit more fair. Yeah, no, mm. see, Frank, what the thing yeah. is, is that that was a fall at New Vegas reference. That's what that was. It's raked from the start, you kid. It, you didn't get it, kid. It was raked from the start. I'm Matthew Perry. <laughs> was he? I'm just yeah, happy so to be Perry. here, guys. Oh. <laughs> cool. So, thank you for watching the Blue Clips podcast. Fun fact, hopefully... You know what, if I, yeah, hopefully by the time this podcast comes out, we will have the audio version of the first 10 episodes up for you guys. Ooh, wow. I know. You can listen to them on the various apps. Uh, there will be a link to the video that explains it a little better than I'm explaining it right now. But yeah, make sure you go ahead and watch that. Uh, please, uh, you know, subscribe to that feed, rate and comment and all that stuff so that more people can watch it. And then uh, same here. Subscribe, leave a comment, like it, tell your friends, specifically da- Zach. Dak, Dak, too. Tell Dak. Yeah, tell, tell every Dak that you know. <laughs> every single one. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Until then, I have been Frank Joseph Hall. Thank you so much. I've been Zachary Richard Dunkerton. A winner. I've been, unfortunately, Tyler Spence. The loser. I have been Jeffrey Todd Bassett, the okay. second. And a guy who, forget it, second place gets a hug off camera. Woo!